Hey, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com here, and today we're going to take a look at Windows Repair. This is a new utility from Tweaking.com, and a lot of people are probably looking at it and perhaps a little nervous about using or wondering exactly what it does, and I think it's a pretty handy utility, so we're going to take a quick look at it. Uh, Tweaking.com was started by Shane from PC WinTech. If you've ever used Clean Mem, simple port forwarding, and some of his little geeky tools, you might be familiar with him. His stuff typically comes in five star rated. He's very trusted, and I actually had the pleasure of beta testing this application, so I can guarantee you it is a very safe program. However, there are never any guarantees. This will start you out at the welcome screen. Basically, the program is designed primarily to fix a lot of Windows problems, but it, it kind of tends to lean towards malware infections. If you get done with a malware infection, if you're a tech or if you've had a problem before, as you know, uh, Windows Firewall might not be starting back up, and, and all sorts of different errors could be coming up from the removal. This is going to try and fix this by putting all your programs and your settings back to where they were originally. You can work your way through the steps, one, two, three, four, or jump straight to start repairs, but real quick, this is designed for more less technical users. If you haven't done a scan for malware yet, you bumped into this tool. He just reminds you of a couple tools you can run to scan with. You can jump over to checking your file system to make sure there are no errors in your file system before making the repairs. Uh, the system file check, which I won't click do it because if I do my system will reboot and that'll be the end of this video. But basically It'll run the system file checker and, if possible, fix any pro problems that happen to come up. You will need your CD, as it mentions here, unless you're running Vista or newer, Vista 7. And into step four, where you can actually just create a restore point, so hopefully that makes some of you feel a little better if you're a little nervous about using this program. So you wait a few seconds, it's done it all for you without opening any external program. And finally, we head to the start repairs. In the start repairs, you can choose from basic, advanced, or custom. I'll show you a basic real quick by hitting start. As you can see, when you line your mouse over over here to the middle, it'll explain to you what each thing does. Now, if you just wanted to do a couple of things, like maybe try and repair your firewall, uh, maybe clear out your temp files while you're at it, proxy settings, it all depends on what problems you might be having, perhaps registry permissions. We can always click back, go to the advanced mode, and that's going to run pretty much everything except the host files, system files. It's trying to be a little safe without doing everything, but at the end of the day, you can always come in, hit custom mode, hit start, and now it's going to explain to you exactly what everything does. Repairing Windows updates, I've had a lot of malware infections where uh, Windows updates doesn't work correctly unless you go back and enable it. So basically what you're going to do, and I'm actually not going to do, is you're going to hit start. The reason I'm not going to do it for you right now is it actually is going to take, I've had it take five minutes to run. There's a lot of things it's doing in here. It's going through everything in your system. It's making sure it's the way it's supposed to be. And it's, there's no fast way to do this. So it is going to take a while. Again, this is brand new as of the day I did this video. I think some of these malware guys out there who are out trying to clean systems, text, stuff like that, if that's you, I think you're going to love it. I also think it's going to be real handy for people just who are having a few errors they want to restore. Give it a shot. I As I beta tested it, uh, there were a couple of problems that popped up that were addressed, but nobody's system crashed from it. Uh, I've run it on numerous systems, just went right to uh, run everything mode, and I've had no problems. Again, there's no guarantees, but it, I, I find it to be a very safe program. Um, the link is right in the description, so you can download it. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Thanks.